check out how to work with the schema values, schema columns. We can also specify the columns like name and age in our Spark SQL contest and data frames. Suppose if you want to be retrieved, till now we have seen right, we risk, we search like this, like if you, we, we only maintaining the laws, some names and kind of ages. Normally we do not have the specific functionality of names and ages. If you want to be add the name and age as a some specific column, specific schema, what we have to use it and what we have to work with the schema already particularly. Fine. The first thing you people know how to work with the constant, how to we have to be passed some input data file here the people.txt and we have to maintain the schema. Here I am mentioning the schema string as the name and age. Fine. And we are importing I we are importing two kind of things here as the row and types as these are the field types we have to maintain, we have to give any as part of the executing as the schema values and schema data. Fine. On top of this again we have to perform some split operation, we are dividing the each row, each, each value, each row into a number of tokens by using column, comma as a delimiter and I am specifying two, two values, where one is field name, one is the string type, the data type of the value and we are passing through as yes, we are maintaining a successful operation. And now I am creating a row identity, this is the schema, we have two things, the call field name and the type. Okay. Suppose first, first thing, the first column is we are dividing into a names and ages, for this what it, how it will take it out, the field name it will take it as a name and the string type we are taking, we are defining the value type as a string. In the same thing age also I am defining the second column is also we are defining with the string only, fine and I am applying the, I am splitting the data, this is the schema splitting, this is the data splitting and I am performing the row of 0 and 1 that is name and age. And here again I am adding, I am creating one data frame by using create data frame method and we are passing the row RDD which you have created the RDD data and our actual schema which have the names and data type of the column, fine column names and column values and column types and we whenever we are passing the things to the our uh, some people data frame this is RDD we are directly converting we are directly we are creating the data frame to our temporary table. Now on words whenever if you want to call the data directly we can apply select name or select age. Suppose if you want to get the whose names are greater than 18 age. So select name from people where age greater than 18 like that you can apply directly on the statements. Fine. That is what the major advantage by keeping the actual schema, the schema to our actual data. And you can also check it out by using the value dot print schema method. Fine. This this is how we can add the schemas to our actual data. Fine. And here we are already seen if you want to find the teenagers from my day people database means the age is in between 30 to 19. So if you want to find means the simply we I can select select name comma age from people where age is greater than 13 and less than 19. We can simply pr print out the things. Fine. These are the teenagers in my database. And if you want to be map the only names. So, I am giving name and the name value. If you want to be get the names, fine, 
I don't want to be get the things in a normal manner. I want to be get the values as a names. So directly I'm get as a something widely kind of things. Okay. That is what we have to find out things. The main thing I am keeping the note as we have to make sure the path of the file is successfully given or not. Fine. For me also we are facing some issues, right? Like that the path whenever you are keeping the things into the file it is very important to be check out the specifying schema or specifying the table path and all things and execute this schema how to specify how I am really getting the data or not fine let me load the text file people test first of all then we can get the data I have here the file and let me add one by one statements let me add these statements to get my output as I, I, I have we have explained with the names by including schema if you find ok after adding I am, I am creating a schema and I am apply I am importing row and the types columns types values from the SQL package and I am creating a schema and RDD both the things we have to pass to the data frame ok both the things row ID row RDD and schema I am adding to the data frame from the data frame I am creating temporary table called people from people I am creating with the help of schema only I am accessing the data let us happen if it is executed means our schema will be successfully created yes we got the data like how are the names are there in the data people's data fine like that you can execute and you can work with the spark SQL on top of the creating your own schema on whenever you are in dealing with the huge amount of data fine that is what all about the specifying schema